Hypno Disco, it certainly is though, dancing around on the attack of Robo Get Me! <laughs> Thinking twice about attacking Hypno Disc! Wow, look at this! Jumped up in the air, no disc with a blade of stuff completely. Hello, my name's Dave and I'm the team captain of Hypno Disc. Our team members are Derek, my brother, and my father Ken. The way our robot can pull a car, the main weapon is this 18 kilo uh, flywheel which runs at 500 RPM which can do this. From Oxford, Hypnodisc. Made by the Rose family over five months, the frame and body shells aluminium, the design computer aided, the weapons are rotating discs spinning at 600 revs per minute. Will it be the Rose amongst thorns here? Robogeddon with the Royal family, Three, young William, Brenda two, and Ginger one. on the right. And in comes Robogeddon straight from the start against Hypnodisc. Look at that blade spinning away. Ho -ho. Off goes Hypnodisc. The message there, Robo, get on out of it. In comes Robo getting again, though. Hypnodisc spins and comes in on the attack. Oh, goodness me! Poor old Robo getting crumpled by Hypno. D I S C. Oh, no more letters in that. Never mind. Hypno Disco, it certainly is, though, dancing around on the attack of Robo getting being shredded here. All that work, 100 hours over four months to prepare Robo getting and shattered in seconds by the Hypno Disc team. Again, look at the front of it. Buckled and torn. It's sort of limping along. The shell fluttering away. Almost coming off. Oh, how sad. The boggle eyes. It's like, oh. Oh, you shouldn't laugh. Look at that laid bear. Oh. oh, dear, oh, dear. Poor old William Ryle. He's only 13. He's put this machine together. <laughs> oh, dear, look. There's nothing left of it now. Hypnotist, what a mighty machine this is. <laughs> it's on fire, I think, as well, Robo Ken. There's smoke coming out. <laughs> Ginger's saying there to little William, there's a way back into this for us, I don't think so. <laughs> the wheels buckled now as well. There's no shell, no wheels, no weapon, no hope. Oh, Hypno Disc, this is the most complete destruction I think we've seen in Robot Wars ever. Oh, there's the CO2 Cease. canister. Oh, that was splendid. <laughs> Well, well and truly beaten. Well, Hypno Disc and Robo Geddon. What a fantastic spectacle. Come on, lads. The disc it spins, it wreaks havoc, and it's about to go in there and wreak havoc for the second time. Nice. Guys, come over with me a minute, because this is a little confidential chat I want to have with you. I don't want anyone else hearing it, especially not from the opposition. I found out what your Achilles heel is. Have you? Yeah. Tell yes. us about it. What is it? Do you not know what it no, is? No, we don't. You do know what it is, because basically, if you go over the flames, your plastic melts on your disc. Is this right? No, no that's, that's incorrect yeah, information. Yeah. It's all steel and aluminium. No, sure? plastic, no plastic in there at all. Are you sure? Absolutely positive, yeah. 100%. Yeah. So there is no Achilles heel, that's what you're telling well, me? Well, there, there is, yeah. Yeah, there is, go but on. it's top secret. Oh, yeah. go on, you no, tell us. I'm tell you, sorry, telling you, no. when am I? Well, we We're, can be flipped, can't we? Flip us over. If we go on the side, it'll be quite exciting. Can they flip you over? Yeah, it's got a match. More stealth. This is a great match here. Two very impressive looking robots, and Hypnodisc is just about the best we've seen so far, I think, in this series of Robot Wars with that greatly powerful blade. Something came off stealth straight at the start there. I think it might have been a, a nut or a bolt only. Can they get in with the flipper? Have they realised that underneath Hypnodisc, grinding away 600 reps per minute on that great. Disc at the front, again coming in on the attack on Stealth. Oh, just flipping it around and look at the back blade of Stealth. Immediately knocked to one side and buckled. Matilda thinking twice about attacking the disc. Well, look at this, jumped up in the air, notice with a blade of Stealth completely flying off. Off goes the blade of Stealth. Hit notice flown up into the air. Bits and pieces flying around the arena floor like a great fucking Bronco. Hit notice. And together in one piece, unlike Stealth, that 
That's another piece that's flown off from somewhere. Debris all over the arena floor. Oh, look at the damage there to start the game from Hypnotist. This is wonderful stuff. Until they're again retreating into the CPZ, and wisely so. Oh, stealth. Totally anything left now. Down to bare bones. Groggy, reeling in dismay. More mayhem and machinery. The machinations in the minds of the Hypnotist team. Malevolent. In it comes again. Slamming stealth against the arena wall. Oh, and they know they're seconds away from oblivion. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that! Wonderful! All our planning in Robot Wars aimed at this devilish destruction, damage, demolition. Sticky back plastic. Oh dear, you'll need months of welding after. <laughs> Up goes the flipper, that was the danger. No chance of Hypno just being flipped now. Oh dear. Cease. The guts of stealth exposed. Huddersfield against two. Hypno disc of Oxford. Two days. Berserk to a tentative start. One run away. I don't blame them. Oh, coming in on the attack though with a forklift. Well, that's the first time we've seen Hypno disc even put off in this heat. And bravery here by Berserk 2, looking to use that forklift to flip Hypnodisc. The Achilles heel, we know that, and obviously the Berserk 2 team have realized it too. And Hypnodisc here, befuddled, bemused, boxed in, but now breaking out. Oh, and up and over goes Berserk 2 from the arena floor. Now they can right themselves, I'm sure. But look at this, driving on to the arena spike. They can use their weaponry to right themselves, the forklift and the hammer. Stuart Ford, Chris O'Connell, trying to get Berserk 2 up and over and right it again. In comes Hypnodisc, but not as punishing so far. The body shell is alloy on Berserk 2 and withstanding the attack so far of Hypnodisc. Hypnodisc flipped up as well by the arena spike. <laughs> get up there. The Rose boys will want to come back in with a concerted drive and get that spinning disc cutting in on the shell of Berserk 2, but it's Berserk 2 at the moment trying to create some damage. But pushed into the CPZ and kill a lot, and this could be decisive. Don't think it should go to judges. They will be looking to mark on style, aggression, control, damage caused. Both cherry pickers look very, very tight, don't they? Concern the teams and those cherry pickers looking on. Berserk 2 slamming down again with the needle-like weapon at the front. There's the Rose boys trying to get Hypnotisk off those arena spikes and the 600 revs per minute spinning disc is slow at the moment. You can see the teeth there and the razor blades, but it's caused no damage. This is a major surprise and it will go to the judges. I didn't think it would this last this long, did you? Well done anyway to Berserk 2 for staying in there. And this is very, very close. Epic final, that. Well, both robots were still mobile after that epic battle. So let's go to the judges for a decision. How on earth are they going to decide this one? Martin Smith on the left, Noel Shark in the middle, and Adam Harper there on the right-hand side. Let's look at the key moments again. An early attack by Hypnotis, but flung away by Berserk 2 twice. Now Berserk 2 trying to get that forklift in underneath Hypnodisc. This could be a crucial attack in the final as the judges deliberate. Kill a lot, also into the fray. But this could be crucial. Berserk 2 thrown by the arena spike. Not only do you have to judge your battle against your opponent and the house robots, but also against the arena obstacles. Remember Behemoth going out earlier on in the series like that. Now who's the most aggressive here between the two. Very, very close. I think this is the closest final we've ever had, and I wouldn't like to be in their shoes. Who has won this on damage, style, control, and aggression? Very close, Craig, I think. And the judges have given it to Hypnodisc. They're through to our series.